to uh, uh, thank Kavar and MTPC uh, for their performances. They just illustrate the amazing amount of talent that comes through these doors um, at the start of year nine and even joining us uh, uh, during uh, other years. Um, it's it's sort of been my, something that I have uh, been able to do in this school in the time I've been here is to uh, enrol every new student. And it's an opportunity for me to uh, uh, get to know them, find out about their passions, their talents, and of course, uh, uh, members of the Fano uh, certainly contribute to um, uh, the discussion about goals for uh, their time uh, at college. And I'm amazed just how much latent talent uh, we actually have in this community. And what I mean by latent is hidden or only partially developed. And, you know, I've been uh, very pleased to see that uh, with the encouragement of an awful lot of um, staff members and uh, other students, or a lot of that talent that uh, you all come in with is able to be developed to uh, a greater uh, leisure extent. And I think the um, MCDC, uh, music, uh, most recently um, uh, weightlifting, successes in weightlifting, um, they are examples of, uh, of just what we actually achieve uh, as a college on top of all the, uh, the academic uh, uh, success. I just want to do, just take this opportunity to Firstly, just um, encourage you that you actually are a member of a very, very good school. And one of the um, features of being a principal is that I have the opportunity to go around and visit other colleges and talk with many other college uh, principals. And I um, and I'm certainly uh, very firm in my opinion that you know, this college serves you proud and you serve, uh, serve it uh, at proud. I mean, over the years, uh, and many of you will, will know, I, uh, uh, I take great delight in um, showing visitors around the school. And I probably uh, had tours of the school in action, like hundreds of them. Uh, and these are people, perhaps prospective um, uh, students, parents, uh, perhaps other visitors from uh, other schools, and uh, of those hundreds and hundreds, there's only ever been one time when I was a little embarrassed uh, when we walked into a, a class and it was a, a bit out of control. But visitors are often amazed at just the uh, teaching and learning uh, that's going on, that um, students are focused on uh, learning, how friendly uh, the school is. Uh, how um, you know, so many people uh, greet visitors, even though they uh, generally uh, don't know them. And I think that's a real uh, strength in uh, uh, you know, this, uh, this college. Uh, and so, you know, keep up that, uh, that friendliness and keep up the, um, the attitudes that uh, you have towards other people and, and something else that I think sets this college apart is just how accepting you are of difference. Certainly far more accepting than any other colleges uh, uh, I know. And what I mean by that is uh, we just welcome into this college um, you know, students from different cultures uh, who perhaps uh, are very different uh, to us and you accept them and welcome them and make, you, make them feel part of the family uh, very, very uh, quickly. And, uh, and, and so, um, you know, that's an important quality to take into uh, your, uh, your adult uh, lives. Uh, it's just accepting people who are different than you and uh, perhaps your, your peers. And why do you accept new people to the school too, you know, students who come in partway through the year. Uh, it's always very hard to for a, a new person to come in uh, and try and make new friends when everyone else has uh, has got friends. And, uh, 
And so those of you who have really made that effort um, to accept, um, you know, that's very much uh, appreciated. I just wanted to leave you with four bits of advice that would, um, I think, put you in good stead, not only for the rest of your time uh, here uh, at Monitor College, but also um, you know, for the rest of your lives. And the first thing I would encourage you to do if you're not already doing it, every day and preferably as soon as you wake up, well, just count your blessings. Just think about all the things that you have got to be grateful for. Your health. Because there are always people, as you know, uh, who are not don't enjoy perfect, uh, perfect health, who have got a disability, sometimes um, permanent. So, um, your health would be one thing that you, you could be grateful for. Just the love of your family and friends. Yeah, because there are people who are very, very much alone in the world. You know, you have got people who love you. You've got people, you've got friends who you uh, can uh, hang, hang out with. Right, just the, your abilities. Just think of all the things that you're good at, that you enjoy, your passions, right, the things that you're able to, to actually do. Right, so there's a whole heap of things. If you just took the time, just two or three minutes every day, to think, hey, I'm pretty well off compared to some in the, this country, uh, some uh, in the world. Second bit of advice, which we follow on from that, make a determination each morning to be a blessing to someone. Now, what I mean by that is to be kind, to do something nice, even if it's just a smile or a kind, sincere word, the word of encouragement, perhaps, or just doing something that you see that needs to be done that would help someone, whether it's parents at home, or uh, whether it's at school, or whatever. But do something nice. Be, be a person. Make something day. And it often can just be a strange. But just try and do one good, kind thing that would make a positive difference in the life of uh, someone else. The third bit of advice is um, make the most of the talents that you have. All of you have got talents. Make the most of them. Right, which means uh, work hard. Right, develop them. Use the knowledge that um, you know, you've got available uh, here at this college um, with friends and with, uh, with staff members. Right, you are very, very fortunate in this college to have a very, very good staff and I say I use the word staff because I'm actually meaning the support staff as well as the teaching staff. Right. This college is the envy of many because of the strong staff that we've got. Right. So many of our teachers and um, support members are very very caring. They care very much about you they create opportunities that they don't have to create, just simply to, for you, or right, to feel loved and cared for and to develop uh, your talents. Right. And don't be frightened to acknowledge the efforts that staff members do and your friends do for you, the things they do for you. Right. Um, I mentioned that the, uh, having a care and support of staff is uh, very much a, uh, a strength of this college. Um, remember for many years the rector of Palmerston Boys High, Tim uh, O'Connor, and I would, um, would actually go and talk to um, teaching students who um, were just ready to graduate and from their teaching uh, courses. And, uh, um, we were actually a panel of two um, where the teachers, uh, the training teachers would ask us what, uh, when it comes to them getting jobs in schools, what are the most important qualities that each of us as principals would, um, uh, would be 
we looking for? And now Mr. O'Connor, I've put said, you know, he said, oh, really, you could look at academic qualifications, and they would be by far the most important um, quality that he would um, be looking at for any, uh, uh, someone who was applying for a teaching job in his school. And I would say the ability to go the extra mile for our kids right? because that makes a really big difference just being able to care for and to do what's needed to do the very very best for our minority college students and I didn't ever change that advice that would be my number one and I've been here long enough to have appointed most of the teachers and the support staff here and that is why you know, I can say quite proudly that this college has got a very, very strong and able staff. Right? And it's simply there to benefit you, and it has benefited all those who've come before you, and it will benefit all of those who come after uh, you've left. So please don't be uh, backward in expressing your. Um, gratitude to those staff members who have influenced you uh, the most. And, um, and so be proud of this college. Like when you all leave and when you pursue your, um, you know, your adult um, life and your careers, you, know, you always have some very, very happy uh, years right, to, uh, to look back on. Right, so um, I'll leave it, uh, leave it there and I wish you all the very best uh, for the uh, rest of uh, this year. Here